In this tutorial, we classify triangles by the types of angles that make up the triangle using the Desmos geometry tools. A triangle includes three angles whose sum is 180 degrees. A triangle can be classified by the types of angles in the triangle. Let's take a closer look. An acute triangle consists of three acute angles. This is an example of an acute triangle. See how all the angles are less than 90 degrees? A right triangle consists of one 90 degree angle and two acute angles. This is an example of a right triangle. See the right angle? See the two acute angles? An obtuse triangle consists of one obtuse angle and two acute angles. This is an example of an obtuse triangle. See the obtuse angle, the one greater than 90 degrees? See the two acute angles? Now let's look at some special triangles based on angles. An isosceles triangle has two congruent acute angles. Congruent angles have the same angle measure. This is an example of an isosceles triangle. See the two congruent angles? An equiangular triangle consists of three acute angles of 60 degrees. This is an example of an equiangular triangle. This table summarizes the three categories of triangles. Acute triangles have three acute angles. A right triangle has one right angle and two acute angles. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle and two acute angles. In terms of isosceles triangles, they can be acute, right, or obtuse. In all cases, two acute angles are congruent. In the case of equiangular triangles, they can only be acute triangles. Let's use the Desmos geometry tools to construct these different types of triangles. Click on the polygon tool. Click once and move to a different point on the screen. Click again. Move to a third point. Click again. Finally, click on the original point. You should see a triangle. Label the triangle and measure the angles. Try to get your triangle to look like this. This is an acute triangle. Note how all the angles are less than 90 degrees. Click on point C and move it left and right to create other acute triangles. As you move point C, keep track of angles A and B. They are the base angles of this triangle. They are base angles because they share side AB, which is the base of the triangle. Move point C, but make sure that the base angles are less than 90 degrees. All of these are acute triangles. Now move point C so that angle A is a right angle. This is a right triangle. To maintain this as a right triangle, move point C vertically like this, or move point B horizontally like this. All of these are examples of right triangles. Now move point C to the left to make angle A obtuse. This is an obtuse triangle. Keep moving point C left or right making sure that angle A is greater than 90 degrees. Now let's look at isosceles triangles. First, create an isosceles acute triangle, like the one shown. Try to get your triangle to look like this. See the congruent base angles? Next, click and drag point C downward until angle C is obtuse. Make sure angles A and B are congruent. 
Were you able to construct an obtuse isosceles triangle? Next, move point C so that angle C is a right angle. Make sure angles A and B are congruent. Were you able to construct a right isosceles triangle? Finally, construct an equiangular triangle. For this, you may need to move all three points. Were you able to create a triangle like the one shown here? Continue constructing different triangles and identify their classification by angle measures.